So one of my friends recently had a baby and I'd really like to make her something to put in her nursery. So I was browsing around online and I found this photo. It jumped out at me just because I think it's so cute, uh, definitely a little unique, and I think it'll go good in a nursery. So I'm gonna take this photo and turn it into a homemade gift. I started with a poplar board and ripping it on the table saw. Since I wanted the grain in the background to run diagonally, I set out my boards and then just cut them to different lengths. After aligning the boards exactly so, I came with a pencil and marked where each one needs to line up. Then glued and clamped it down. Next I started making the stencils. Now I like to use clear masking tape on both sides before cutting out my stencils just because it helps whenever I'm tracing them. So I did this to all three shapes that make up these animals. Then I traced out all the shapes I'll need and then used my scroll saw to cut them out. It's a good thing I'm kind of addicted to paint. I went through all my colors and picked out some that I thought would look nice. And then I started painting. For the few pieces that require two colors on one, I would use painter's tape to mask off one side. For the little shrimp, I did the same thing with taping it off, but I had to mix a red and an orange to get the four different colors. Then I came back and added the details using a Q-tip. I gave the back a quick sanding and then lined the photo up again and then made a mark at each one of the corners. This way I could go over to the miter saw and with the help of a speed square, cut off the majority of the material. Then I was able to use the table saw to get it exact. To make a simple frame, I grabbed the poplar scraps and ripped them on my table saw, then just cut in miters and started staining them. After nailing things in place, I came back with wood filler and a little bit of touch-up paint. And there we are. It's a homemade gift that is sweet and simple. I just can't figure out what this guy is. I don't know if it's a ferret or a possum. Maybe a raccoon. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the project and I will see you soon.